Hello everyone. So I wanted to give another update to the in-ground pool demolition project that is sort of ongoing and has been for a while. Um, Longtime watchers of my channel will know that I had various plans of trying to turn this into a sunken greenhouse, etc, etc. But at the, I've decided someday this might be an, a, a greenhouse, but I don't want a sunken one. <laughs> I just want to fill in this gigantic awful hole. So uh, so yesterday I went through and I smashed up all the concrete here on the the shallow, the, the shallow end and also the deep end. And, for, and also I apologize, I have my daughter, my four-year-old daughter gave me a pretty terrible cold. So I <laughs> apologize for being a little stuffed up in the video. But I wanted to make sure I gave an update. So I broke this up. So the interesting thing is this material is not concrete which makes a lot of sense. Um, it's some kind of weird composite. I'm not familiar with what it is exactly. I'm not an expert on pool building. But once I hit it with a sledgehammer, I was actually able to chisel the rest up with a just an ordinary spade shovel. Uh, pretty tough one, but just a normal shovel. Um, and those who saw my last video about this, they saw me actually sledgehammering the, the, shallow, the deep end. And I have since broken that all up. Now, having said that, though, we got a little bit of rain last night. And I'm seeing water. So I don't know. I don't know if this is going to really drain that quickly now that I've smashed up the bottom or what this will look like. Because as I smashed up the bottom, I went and dug deeper. And there was definitely just sand at the bottom. But some of it was a little clay-like. So I don't know what to expect. I'm, try you know, I'm trying to follow directions online. And I've done what is, has been said. One thing I'm not clear about is... So the directions I'm follow only mentioned breaking up the deep end. They didn't specifically mention breaking up the shallow end. I did that because it's another level. And I'm not sure if I should break up this, you know, the, the incline here between the two zones. So maybe. Um, but whatever it is, I need to do something pretty quick. Um, I'm hoping this is broken up enough to provide ado adequate drainage. Now, also keep in mind, this is little, really low in the ground. So, you know... Um, I don't know if that affects things in terms of water line. I mean, this is pretty far underground, so the water, just because we had some rain, the water, this may be currently as as much as it'll drain. Now, I am going to be putting in tons of crushed rock stone here for drainage at the bottom. Uh, the the the, the um, guidelines that I'm following are put 12 inches of stone at the bottom. I'm probably going to double that and go ahead and pay the money to double that to make sure I have tons of room for percolation and drainage because... I can see the drainage might be an issue for where this is situated. You'll notice over there that it's starting to crack and a big piece has come off. And that's a bad thing. I'm so nervous because I'm getting more and more of these cracks and breaks. This whole thing is going to collapse and cave in. So I need to hurry up and fill this. So part of what has delayed this process is one, being able to get back out here and work on it, which uh, time is always of the essence. But the other thing is, is that we're trying to figure work with a contractor to fill it. So, you know, we found people who said they'll do Well, we found some people who said they'll do it, but then they can't produce, you know, any kind of insurance or anything like that. So that makes us nervous. But the problem is, is that the, the pool is surrounded by this gigantic deck. And a lot of contractors aren't comfortable or unable to get stone delivered, stone and dirt fill delivered here and put it over here. Now I have one trucking company that said they would just bring all the stuff in a big truck and dump it directly from the truck into the pool. That's typically how they fill pools, but they would need us to remove a big section of the deck here, which I'm not comfortable doing. I'm totally fine removing this railing because this is kind of rickety anyway and needs to be redone. So I'm fine removing that part. We have spoken to one contractor who has a small um, uh, backhoe, I believe it is, on the tractor, and they should be able to pick up the stone here, and if we build like a strong enough ramp, dump the, the stone onto a ramp, and then we'll just sort of push it in. It's not the best solution, but it may be what we need to do. So um, I'm hoping we can work something out, because this needs to get filled, filled in ASAP, because if that collapses, that ruins the ent entire structural integrity of the deck around it. So I'd rather not have to trash the whole deck because that would be horrible. <laughs> but in any case, I wanted to give an update on the progress because I know that people are interested in this project and excited to see what comes of it. So, yeah. So 
Hopefully this gets worked out. Hopefully we get this taken care of before winter and things start getting really crazy with the weather. But in any case, thank you so much for watching. And if you could like this video, I'd really appreciate it. Um, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do. I update on all sorts of homesteading projects. And um, if you're the kind of person who creates playlists, I'd really appreciate you putting some of my videos on playlists because it helps get it out there to other people. And it becomes YouTube loves when videos are added to playlists. So in any case, thank you so much for watching. And thank you for joining me on this journey.